Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Violet. Last time we made our way to the entrance of the final Team Star base, right over there. And today we're gonna take it down. Uh, nothing, nothing really else to do except catch this Venom off, which apparently I don't have one of. And then we'll go raid our final base. Very exciting. Oh, come on. It was so close, too. Venomoth has Zen Headbutt. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, what do I want to go for? Body Slam? Maybe get Paralysis? Nope. Depending on how much Leech Life heals, though, we might be able to do another one. I want to risk it. Just throw a netball. Wait. Yeah, it's bug poison, not flying poison. Okay. Oh, come on. Well, another uh, body slam would work now. Poor Dragoon is still being murdered by everything. Poor Dragoon, I'm so sorry. I don't want to check her happiness rating because it's going to be very low. Uh, not Mistopolis. Ginny just for resistance, I suppose. Oh my gosh. Get in the frickin' ball. This Venomoth's gonna be harder than the Team Star base. Thank you. Jeez. When it attacks, it flaps its large wings violently to scatter its poisonous powder all around. Heal up Dragoon now. It's also a Gimme Ghoul. As is usual with Pokemon Centers. But where? Oh my gosh. Hitting all the wrong buttons. Top, probably. Yes, I see it. Let's go this way. Oop, item. Jump on over. There we go. I need like four or five battles. I think I've had two. We did two, five. Okay, yeah. That team star doesn't count, unfortunately. Oh, this Clive. Uh, this is fighting. Who do we want out front? Half my team is weak to fighting. Cool. Uh, we'll do that. You're pretty skilled. Not many trainers can shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. The same to you, Airy, was it? Your Pokémon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves. I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now, if you want to get on with our battle, I'm already on, on my side. I, I want to watch. I want to see Clive's chops. Who are you? Kit, there you are. I started talking to this girl since she looked as she was te with Team Star. And she and her Pokemon came at me without warning. We were just battling it out. Riri, I knew you'd be out here. 
I have no idea who that is. Random grunt. Oh, Carmen. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Now, get away from here. It's not safe. I'll take over guarding the base, Riri. You should get back inside. No, I won't back down. I can't. Oh, Riri, you need to stop this. Until the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you in the calf squad. And everyone else in Team Star, too. That's why you should get back to the base and rest up, even just for a little bit. As the boss of the squad, I... I just can't. Riri, please. I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. Fine. I'll go. I'm sorry, Carmen. Hey, that's no way to sign off. Let me hear let me hear Asta La Vista from you, nice and loud. Uh, Asta La Vista! I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Hey, Kit. My Pokemon and I are actually running on empty after that last battle. Sorry to spring this on you, but do you think you can handle this grunt alone? Probably. Oh, she has like a Team Star tattoo on her. That's cute. Have they all had that? Huh. Thanks. I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. I'll protect Reeve with everything I have. You ready to battle? I'm so ready. Then here I come. Carmen of Team Star. She has a name. She's important. What's your level at, Carmen? 54, okay. Uh, let's see, Dragon Pulse, I suppose. Very nice. It's not a primate. I guess just keep Dragoon in. Another Dragon Pulse. Screech could be bad. Oh, yikes. Yep. Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry, Dragoon. It's been a punching bag this whole game. Oh, let's see. Ginny, I suppose, is the best bet. Get an aerial ace in there. A up for Ginny. Ginny wants to learn close combat. Um, probably not. Yeah, I don't like the stat lowering effect there. I lost, but my defeat's not the one that matters. Even if all I did was buy Riri a bit of time, that's fine. My job here is done, so I'll head back inside. Hasta la vista! I take it you defeated the guard out front. That base is run by Team Star's fighting crew, the Calf Squad. Their boss, Aerie, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole of Team Star in Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she'll likely be the most alert to, the host to two hostilities after our declaration of war. She might try and stop this raid in its tracks by challenging you to a battle before anyone else. Yeah, we already met. I knew it. Tell me what happened. She retreated? We're talking about the same area, right? Well, it seems there's nothing for it now but to attack the base head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the cat squad off the map. I'm not healed though, nope, okay. Glad well, the Pokemon Center is right there. That item. The 
tiny bamboo shoot. I don't know what those do, but I want it. And we'll keep those three out front, because again, everyone else is weak to weak to fighting. We have a Scyther, right? Yeah, okay. Thought so. Hair across them I not have. Hold on. I do not. Huh. Small diversion. Gotta catch them all and all that junk. Oh, come on. Ow, my throat. Uh, body slam. Good. Okay, that'll help. I'll probably get another body slam in as well. Oh, come Dragoon. At least she won. I guess that's a win. I guess that's a victory. Oh, big bamboo shoot. Anyway, let's get going here. You're not invited, low kicks. Even the smallest stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations. With the last bastion of Team Star, losing isn't an option. Hey kid, you listening? If you beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, we'll call the boss out to deal with you. How's that for hospitality? Beat 30. Hi, Dragoon. You're so cute, I can't be mad at you. It, no, take, take it down, thank you. Smashing R, it's not doing anything. There we go. Take them all down. This is kind of like a straight shot. The other ones are kind of more open. It's kind of like a gauntlet. Ooh, Toxicroak, scary. I just saw like the Kerbomon Bowl pop up, and I thought it was like a Clink Clang for a second. Just because, like, the, well, gray circles. I'm like, what, Clink Clang? Why is that here? Go attack it, please. Oh my god. I'm mashing R to send my Pokemon. It's not doing anything. There we go. Oh, Dragoon. Ow. Do they have vending machines here? Yes, there's one across the bridge. Okay. Am I, like, too close or something when I'm pressing R? Maybe. No, but even here, nothing's happening. Ah, I don't know why. I'm... I don't need to run. This isn't Legends Arceus. Hack it! Oh my god! Healing should like take a minute off your time or something, instead of just being free. That'd be an interesting uh, risk reward type thing. I'm pressing R. I swear to God, I'm pressing R. Nothing's happening. Dragoon, what are you doing? Like I can't target my, I can't target the targets like I would in like in the field to throw a Pokeball because the R's recall Pokemon instead of target. Get it. Okay. Twenty down, ten to go. These bystanders? Oh no, okay. They were just kind of standing there. Ooh, Halucha. 
Flying Halucha looks weird. Okay, almost done. Take down this group and then we're all good. Now you all pop out. I I don't think we can hold him off much longer, boss. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. Ah! I'm about airy. I'm not sure if that's face paint or like a mask. She's a wrestler, so it's probably a mask. Who knows? Dragoon, okay. I don't know why I was like surprised to have Dragoon out. This face is precious to us. I won't, won't let you, this raid of yours go any further. She has five Pokemon. Oh no. Firefox would be good here. Toxicroak specifically. Of course. I give as good as I get, that's a promise. We'll see who's left standing in the end. I probably have a full restore somewhere. This dragon ball should be good enough. Yes, okay. Let's send out Lucario. Lucario fight, or is that dumb? Lucario fight might be dumb. Go, Firefox. Yeah, flamethrower should be fine. Oh, it's faster. Ouch. Oof. Good hit, though. Ooh, crit even. Nice. Let's send out Passimian. Firefox should be able to take that, too. The Psychic. It's probably faster than me too, though. Oh no, cool. Almost. That's gonna hurt. Bye, Firefox. Thank you. I think Ginny is up next. Let's take it down 100%. She's got one more than the car. Annihilate. Oh god. That's ghost fighting? Ginny should still be fine. See, I probably may have gotten evolution in this gen. And there it is. combat that's gonna hurt. Not too bad. Got poison resisted fighting. And with, especially with this defense drop, one more area likes to take it down, no problem. Perfect. Eh, 
and the car. I, I refuse to lose, so please, lend me your strength. Half Star Mobile. I don't want to try Dire Claw just to see if we can give it a status, but. Uh, Aerial Ice might just be better. Raw damage. Oh, and a stamina. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Double shift gear? Oh no. Oh no. I don't have like haze or anything. Oh, this is so bad. Uh keep going for status effects. High horse I'm dead. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. High horsepower is a ground type move. Oh, I'm so screwed. Maybe it'll go for high horsepower again. Who knows? A uh, flower trick would bypass its defense buff too. The flower trick might just be better than play rough at this point. Combat torque, that's, that's a kill. Yep. Oh, I've lost. Unless... No, because everyone's weak to ground and fighting. Except Dragoon. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Who's speed spat? Spat. Speed stat. Pokemon's held item is lost. Okay. There's no way Ginny can survive a high horsepower at this point. I don't think anybody can. Let's see what Orin can do. What even items do I have? Two max revives. I don't think that's going to be enough. Try an Aura Sphere. Nah, that's dead. Do I have a Focus Sash? Is it worth using a Focus Sash in this fight? Could be, maybe. But yeah, I don't think there's any way I can win this at this point. She got too buffed. Yikes, okay. Dragoon's last stand here. Maybe it'll miss. Oh, quick claw, let's go. Major critical, let's, let's, come on, Dragoon. Huge critical hit. You can do it. Nope. Special is base stamina too? Dang. Okay. Now I know. Do I feel like do the whole raid again? Or can I just... Go right to her. Does anyone have any moves that cancel status? Cheerful look. Doesn't cancel it, but acid spray, okay. Because it raises speed, attack, and defense.
Willow Wisp, if that even works. Light screen. Actually, should we try Willow Wisp? That would have its attack, which would be huge. Give it a sunny day for Willow Wisp. What else you got? Light screen. I need uh, reflect. <laughs> Screech. Could be something. Taunt. I'll stop it from using shift gear. That's an option. Maybe not the smartest option, but it's an option. Scary face. Sand attack. Super useful there. No trick though. Counter. Because if I have a hit. Detect. Be a decent hit. Huh. I don't know how much HP it has. Especially like if it gets the speed going, that might not really help either, but. Okay, let's um try that setup. See what happens. If I do have to do the raid again, I'll just cut right to the airy fight. Challenge the boss. Okay. Um, she led with Toxic Croak. I was going to say Toxic Pack, so that's not right. right. Let's give this another shot here. Yeah, yeah, here you come. I didn't come here when I tried to earlier. That would have been very bad. Okay, see so how one psychic should take down Toxicroak. And Flamethrower should be good on Lucario. We can go from there. Yeah. Anticipation shuttered. Good. For whatever that's for. Oh, you're faster than me. Yes, thank you, Harry. I didn't poison, though. That's good. Oh, she's going right to Passimian. Interesting. I guess Ginny can go in for that. I don't know why I just thought for a second that the Simeon was normal type. It's not. Ooh. I guess Aerial Ace isn't like the strongest move in the world. Just never misses. Okay, two down. Here comes Lucario. Lucario is faster than Firefox. Keep Ginny out. Go for like a brick break. Good. 
Good. Okay. That was Annihilate. We also want to just keep Ginny out for that one. Worked last time, I guess. Close combat, yep. Good. Let's give that a shot. Oh, so let's give that a shot. It's gonna work. It's not exactly a shot, but it works every time. And the car. Which I do not get an option to switch into. Might just go for the kill on Ginny, so let's go with a taunt. Oh, it didn't work. Great. Now we know. That's bad. Gee, I wonder why taunt wouldn't work against this boss. That's crazy. Power, yep. Ouch. Will of Us probably wouldn't work either. It's probably faster than Lucario at this point, too. Yep. Oh my god. That's horrendous. Goon? I guess? I guess just straight damage. Good, quick claw. Keep that up, please. Special moves are the way to go. Oh, she lived. Why is that paralyzed? I'm so mad. I'm gonna pop one of those, and she'll live another one, and I can <laughs> uh, roll for a quick claw move again. PP this combat for cat. Oh, we got it! Let's go, Dragoon. Okay. Do I just max revive Dragoon? Is that the play here? It might be. Because no one else can take a hit. I feel like two more um, Dragon Pulses should do it. This will get Dragoon a little redemption too, the time she's been knocked out. I mean, I guess she is still getting knocked out, but like, you know. She can win a fight now. Good. If we get another quick claw. Oh, shift gear, you fool. That raises its attack though, uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, quick claw. Double shift gear. Airy, what are you doing? Airy just threw the match. Speed won't go any higher, but its attack will. It really wants to one shot Dragoon. Too late though. Whew. That was scary. Airy is scary. Good job, Dragoon. You did it. 
so sorry, everyone. About a year and a half ago. I'm so sorry. I think I went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough pra battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift stri strides toward mastering the art of battle. And I could never have evolved my Pokémon without you, Aerie. Even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See? Nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star in the whole team. <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. Um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole- four- four- Let me start that one over. We've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Ah, I'm sorry. You all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we four have each trained in our turn. But you, our steadfast mentor, have rested not once. I cannot- I cannot help but worry for thy help. Thank you for your concern, Atticus. But lately, I feel like I can take out anything, even if I'm really tired or feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge designs to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes it feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. I gave my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I'd want you to have this. We got there. I'd like to see you try out my trademark move, too. Here, this one's for you. Close combat, cool. And we'll never use that. I know you're part of Operation Starfall. But I can tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way, you, the way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just really... <laughs> Looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri. This is the Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So, what did you want to ask me? You seem to be on much friendlier terms with Aerie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, alright. I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty, too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the Academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her. Pretty much. I got her classmates to join in, too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle, and once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as the next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it. But then Riri, she chose to help me even though I've been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one at your side. And she invited me to end a Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that. What a kind girl. She really is. And joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun. There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Uh, no. I merely... Riri and the rest of the Team Star made me who I am today. Please, don't take away our greatest treasure. Kit, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Aerie's star badge? Without its boss, the cat squad should be a hair's breadth from disbanding. So Aerie was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should be back to attending classes at the Academy. Nice work out there, Kit. Is that Clive, I hear? Cassiopeia, well done to you, too. 
Thanks. Now about your reward kit, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. 20,000. Nice. And more TMs, woohoo. Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed. You can go, go ahead and give Kit his bonus reward now. Lots of Pokemon materials. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the Big Boss and have Team Star disband for good. Where's the Big Boss? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the Big Boss is none other than me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends. And I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any, any good for anyone. They've got to give it up. So I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Kit. I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. And I'll see you both there. So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible. With this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over. What a twist. So yep, that's the next step in finishing up the Team Star path. Starfall Street, I think it was called way back when. Let's go ahead and heal up. We need it. And then I think all we have left is the final gym. Way down south, where we never went before. That's exciting, I did the crouch, okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's check the map. Yep, all that's left is final gym way down here. Why didn't it take me back to where my cursor was? Okay. Yep, gotta go down to Alfernada. If you access through this cave here, so we can just fly there next time. Okay. Cool. See you next time. We head down to Alfernada and maybe tackle the gym, depending on how long it takes us to get there. It's exciting. Nearly done with the main story here. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.